Hey everyone, it's Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. I hope everyone is doing well today. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you've been back before, thank you for coming back to see me. So today we have um, a whip and chat, but I did, I have some very special mail. Well, this one is very special. Um, this is special too, but this one is even more special. Mail to share with you guys before we get into it. Um, and the reason I was going to unbox uh, this, that I, this delivery I just got because I am working on Shine On by Lizzie Falcon from Treasure Studios Art. And I'm trying to find as many round ABs to go with this as possible. Um, I had ordered a bunch from Tima, which this is who it's from too. I got did get some from Diamond Drills USA. I found some great ones on Amazon. And I will, did I post that? I don't know if I made a little video or not of that in my last video. And if I did, I'll link it. But if I didn't, then it won't be linked. So anyway, and then the second one is from Curtis Rykovich. And if you guys don't know who he is, I will link an unboxing video up in the eye as well for that. But if you don't know, you need to go check him out. And I will put his information down in the description below because you are missing out. Curtis is the best. I adore his work. I adore him. He is amazing. Just, I can't say enough good things about him. I always get excited whenever he makes a post or does a drop, which of course I did order a few things while I was at the swim meet in the 113 degree weather and got what I wanted. So I was pretty proud of myself. All right, well, let us start. I'm going to take the box off for right now. And hopefully you guys didn't see my address. Get my trash bags ready over on the side. Oh, I hope your guys' week is starting off well. I do have my light turned off right now, so let me get into this. I'm also kind of building up a AB stash as well, and I did get a little box for that, but I'm trying to figure out the best way to section it off. So first... I have my invoice says, thank you for your order, Ugh, your order. And it's got my uh, inventory of everything I ordered. Here is Diamond Painting with Sparklers. You also know her as Tima. I will link her website below as well. So here's her business card and then here's all the information on the back. Sparkler sticker, holographic sticker, which I love. And then this little spread the love sticker as well. Thank you for the stickers, Tina. And then we appreciate you. Every purchase each month qualifies for one entry to win a free specific diamond painting. So if you guys didn't know, um, they have, Tina now has um, diamond painting kits on her website. So a specific DP from sparkleswithtima.com. Go to the Facebook group, look under announcements for that month's giveaway post and enter your order number along with your name for a chance to win a diamond painting. And the Facebook group is Diamond Painting with Sparkler. So head on over to Facebook and join that as well. I'm gonna stick all this back here. Put my stickers, everything over here. So the main thing I was having a hard time with is the blues. And I don't think that I even... Hopefully I got close. Tina had sent me a website where you put in the DMC code and it will give you other ones that are very similar that you can use in its place if they even make, you know, ABs that go with that. So let's see what I got. I got some, and this is all rounds I believe I got. So I got some 939. I got 995 and 996. I love this color. The 3325, 3755, 
three, eight, four, three. So like all these blues. And I think I got some purples too. No, it looks like it's more blues. And each one of these, I think, has about 2,000 ABs in it. I can't remember. But they were not, you know, I thought they were very well priced. Right. I got some 820, 798. 791. I got some 550 because 550 is a uh, was on that little graph with the 154 for a good alternate. So I might throw some of these in. I also have these in squares. And then I got one bag of 160, this pretty blue. So that's what I got from Tima. She is amazing, so kind helpful so so helpful fast shipping you know for she sends it out right away and it got she I think she's in Missouri is that what MO is I'm pretty sure it's Missouri but anyway from Missouri to California and this is taking too long so let me just put these out of the way right here and just get all this mess out of the way and put it down here on this over here so this next um i'm gonna open this kind of off camera because my address on here so not this drop and not the one before that so three drops ago curtis had put up on there that there would be he was going to be doing custom feels so and if you guys don't know what the his feels series is he chooses one color per feels and there's different shades with it and it's just their faces and they are absolutely stunning. I love them. They're, it's, it's great. It's so awesome. Anyway, he did, um, I don't know where, what to call it, but there were, he was going to do custom feels. So he said there were going to be 12 available. And you got to pick what color you wanted. He only works with like blue, orange, yellow, purple, and red, I think, I believe. Green, blue, yeah. Oh, stupid. this spot. Anyway, and there were only going to be 12. And you got to pick the theme. And you just kind of tell them what you like and things of that nature. So... They were, it was $1.99 because there's only 12 and this is a custom painted feels for you. So what I did is, so I did it and I was so happy because there's only 12. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm one of 12 people who has a custom feels from Curtis. So um, he messaged me and asked me what color. I picked blue. Um, I picked blue because that is it. And I really wanted to this to kind of encompass Bella. So I told him that Isabella, my daughter, is a year-round swimmer. So we like nautical theme and we really love uh, narwhals and things like that. You know, Bella is one of her, when she was little, I don't know if it is now, but one of her favorite fishes was an angler fish. So... And I basically just told him, I trust you. I want, I'm leaving it up to you because I'll love it no matter what. And that was it. And let me tell you, he sent me a preview before he mailed it to me and I almost started to cry, like literally. So the first thing we have in here is a little card that says Wicked Damsels Oil Painting by Curtis Rykovich. And here's all his social media right there and this is a little card of tightrope girl so thank you for that with his orders you get a damsels postcard along with a wicked damsel sticker i need to put one of these on my toolbox i have a couple of them and here it is you guys like i'm so excited for you guys to see this like 
so, so excited. I waited and waited. I didn't care how long it took. So he always wraps everything with such care. So it comes in this thicker plastic bag. It's wrapped in tissue paper. I hope you, oh my God, I can't wait you guys. Now, I don't know if Bella's room will put this in her room, but I'm probably gonna put it in my craft room. It's signed. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys, look at her. She is stunning. So it's done, it's already, it's all ready to go. It's on a wood block, hand painted. Sorry for the glare, look at her. And it's coated, it's like so shiny and beautiful. I love her little scales and her little fins on her face and her horn. And it's got, she's got blue and green and her hair and, oh my God. She's so beautiful. Some purple, kind of bluish purples. Like, Curtis, thank you so much. Like, this is perfect. I mean, it's like smooth and it's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I am so excited to hang her up on my Curtis wall. Well, about to be walls. I have some more I need to put up. Anyway, you guys, like, go check out his website. Like I said, I will link everything below. Curtis, thank you so much. This is absolutely beautiful. Oh, my God. I love it. All right, you guys. Okay, 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 okay. So let's put this down. We'll put this down over here, and let's get into this. So um, I'm going to turn my light hat on because I have to use it all the time. So it, there is a, let me go through the stats real quick of what I am using. I have my cover minder that says laundry is the only thing that should be separated by color. I got this from Mad for Minders. Have that right here. My little cutter. I'm using a combination of my trays from Bella Art de Nicole. Just one of the little white ones with a spout and then the one from J, I can't remember, Evision, something Evision's Crafts. I got two of these, or Envision's Lab, sorry. So I'm using that. I am using a pretty placer. Um, I'm using my pen. Turning it from turning a dream. And I'm kind of mixing in between um, ABs and the regular drills. These drills are amazing. These are probably like the best drills I've ever used, in my opinion. They've been the most consistent. These right here, if you can see them, this isn't trash. These aren't trash drills. These are just um, ones that I found on my canvas and I already put the color away and I don't know where they go. I'm using um, some pink wax and I have a few others. I've got some patty wax right here. Excuse my mess, I work best in this chaos, like when it's like this. And then when I'm done, I clean up and I start again. So, how have you guys been doing? So if you're new, a whip and chat is just for, uh, stands for work in progress. And it just is some, a way for us to spend some time together. You pulling out what you're working on or if you're doing chores or whatever, and I'm gonna work on what I'm working on. And like I'd said earlier, this is Shine On from uh, Treasure Art Studios and it's by Lizzie Falcon. And I will show you the thumbnail in case you guys aren't familiar. And no, I didn't use my Xyron sticker maker um, because these are already in baggies. So I'm just using it as a quick reference. Um, this is not, there is a lot of color blocking. There is a tiny little bit of confetti, but for some reason it is not going as fast as I had thought it was going to, but that's okay. I'm trying to do like the little colors first, but I'm gonna, Pick out a color. I don't even remember what I was working on before I took a break. Um, 702. Oh, okay. 
7.02. I think I'm actually done with that color. No, there's a few down here. All right. So how is this? How was last week been? Well, it was pretty chill. Uh, we did have a three-day swim meet in Clovis. We only did two of the three days. This was a bit of a faster swim meet. You had to have a qualification, a, a time standard to get in. You just needed one, and then you got two bonus events. So Bella got in with her 100-meter fly, and then she chose the 200 IM individual medley, which is all four strokes, and like a lap of all four strokes, and then the 100 meter backstroke, which I was really happy for that she chose that because the last two meets she has chose to swim it and backstroke is like her fourth best. I don't like saying it's her worst stroke because you can always improve. So I like to say that it is her fourth best stroke, but she killed it. You know, she did cut more time. So that's two meets in a row that she has cut on her backstroke. So she went from having a 135.23 to a 131.68. So I was pretty proud of her. And she was very happy. She did add a little bit of time on her IM, but her hunted fly, although she added three and some change seconds, it is the closest she has been to her fastest time, which was from 2018. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with swimming or not, but when... You're used to cutting a lot of time, a lot of time, and then especially with girls, you hit that, you hit puberty and everything like that. Sometimes they hit like a block and you don't always cut time as fast as you did when you were younger. Now, some do and some don't, and that's okay. I just want her to do her best and to be happy with her swims. And yes, yeah, disappointing, especially for her when she doesn't cut time, especially when she thought she was going to, the way, by the way it felt when she was swimming. But I'm just proud of her because she doesn't ever give up. Could she work a little harder at times at practice? Yeah, she could, but that's all right. So now we just have two weeks until Junior Olympics and she originally had signed up for eight events. That's the max you can swim besides being put in relays. And I was like, are you sure you want to max out? Because some of her events are quite long. And she was like, yes, I'm sure. There was one event that she, you know, some of the, her events she has not swam because we kind of got gypped a little bit because long course season um, started so late. So there were, and there weren't as many meets or opportunities for her to swim a lot of her other strokes. So like for instance, her 200 butterfly, she could have swam that at this particular meet, but with taking two weeks off to go on vacation, only being back for five days and then taking another week off, the 200 meter butterfly is not really um, an event that you just wanna go without the proper train the proper training because it's a lot of core work anywho she's gonna have to swim it at jo's kind of cold turkey and figure it out because it's been since like 2019 i think since she swam it but she'll be fine anyway we have that coming up and that's four days um the good part about that hold on you guys i need to find my no not seven i don't want seven two hold on what color is this Huh. No, not that. Where is my other one? 704. 700. Huh. Here we go. 906. Here we go. 906. This one I'm sprinkling the ABs through. Um. Anyway, yeah. So she's at practice right now. I don't have to drive this week, which is cool. Gives me a break. Um... I'm just kind of watching out because she did have her second COVID shot today. So that is awesome that now she is fully vaccinated. But a lot of like 
you can tell things are starting to pick up because um, now I'm starting to have scheduling conflicts. So, for instance, she has, um, on the 19th, the high school has people come in from the local hospital and does free sports physicals. Well, it's later in the afternoon, obviously, because parents work. But it's right during her practice time. So, I made her an appointment on base because we go to base for our medical and made her appointment for the end of June to get it done there. So I do have the forms. The athletic director did email out all the forms so people can pre-fill them out. So that was very helpful and I appreciated that. Let me use my pretty placer. So that's what's going on with her. Um, with me, so the new company has, you know, came in there are a lot of people, a lot of friends of mine that are not, and people that I've worked with that are not. Uh, so when a new, let me backtrack. So when a new company like comes in, they have what's called a transition period. So all the current employees that work there, all they have to do is resubmit, resubmit their resumes, and you know they'll just continue with their original jobs. It's just so the new company has everything for their personal records, personnel records on file and things of that nature. Bryant keeps me in the loop with everything since he is the vice president of the union. So that's been very helpful with my nerves. There are, however, some people's positions that are being cut. So they can either apply for a new job or not. They can go find someplace else, I guess, to work. So that's cool, right? So all I have to do is just wait until um, the company officially takes over at the end of the month and apply. Now they did, the new company did already post jobs, but on the job description, like on the job listing, it said incumbent only, but you know your girl apply for them anyway, right? Now they also have, um, they're going to be having some MEC 2. So a MEC 1 basically is like your little worker bee, and that's what I was. And I was totally cool with that because I don't have any responsibility or what have you. Well, there's some MEC 2s that are not, that are leaving. Now granted, there are some people who will probably apply for it, but I'm probably, I might apply for it too, because I do have the experience. And the good thing is that hopefully I'll go back, you know, I'm not going to say yes, 100% I am because that would be very stuck up and, you know, overly optimistic to think that until I officially have a start date, then nothing is guaranteed in my opinion. But anyway, um, I'm, I probably will apply for a MEC, so MEC2 is more of a, as a, as a team lead. You know, you're on your teams and they're kind of like your lead and everything. So anyway, like I was saying, um, if I get to go back, the good thing is that it is less than 18 months since I have been gone. So I will maintain my seniority. So I won't be starting on day one again. So I left with two years and nine months or eight months. So when I go back, I will start with having two years and eight months on the book. So oh, that will be really, really good. And I also do not have to have a probation period. So I can go right back into the union. And then Bryant was like, oh, by the way, did you fill out like a, a slip when, to withdraw from the union? And I was like, um, no, Mr. Union President, Vice President, I did not because nobody told me I had to do that. I don't care, it's not a big deal. I just thought it was pretty funny. Let's see what else. Um, other than that, no, I'm just, so with that in mind, you know, I am still applying for other jobs just to have a plan B. I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket, so to speak. And just kind of getting stuff 
done that I haven't been able to get done before. I'm going to be taking Bella to the bank so she can open up her, she has a savings account, but she needs to have her own checking account because I need to start teaching her how to balance money. She's good at saving money and her way of saving money is hoarding money in little hiding places all over her room. Well, she's in the process of cleaning her room and she collected all her money and finally put it together. And I'm about to ask that girl for a loan, for real. So hopefully it'll stay that way. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Um, yeah, other than that, not a lot has been going on. I do know, how was your guys 4th of July? So let me tell you, it was insane out here. It literally sounded like um, Baghdad 1994. It was crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, but people out here still think it's the holiday because they are still lighting off fireworks and it's ridiculous. And Levi has just been a mess. So I've just been giving him his doggy weed and he's just been chilling with me. Um, in the craft room, I actually post a picture of the boys together with Zeus um, consoling him. I'll put it, stick it right here so you guys can see. And even like normally Levi acts like a cat and he is antisocial and likes to stay all curled up, up on the couch. But every night since he has been coming and either sleeping with me or if Bryant stays over, then he's been sleeping on the floor because Bryant always moves the little bench I have because there's not enough room in the bed for me, Bryant, and not even one dog. So Zeus is the one that gets most upset about not being able to get in the bed, but he gets over it. He gets down anyway because he gets hot. Oh my goodness. Um, the fireworks booth fundraiser. So I was going to do like a vlog over the 4th of July weekend and the days leading up to it of our fireworks booth stand. And I did my initial one, but I was so tired and it was busy and crazy that I just decided to scrap it and not upload it. And, but we did really, really well. I'm, I need to email one of our board members though for our final total of what we made so I can send out an email to parents. Um, but we did clear 19,000. That was after our, you know, that was our cut when, cause you know, there's the gross amount, then the net amount. And then after we pay our fees, like we're in the Walmart parking lot, Walmart gets their cut. You know, we have booth rental. We had to rent a U-Haul to bring all the fireworks back and forth and to store them when we weren't sell uh you know selling them and we had to rent ipads you know we get an ipad rental charge for the way we ring stuff up and the scanners and things like that so at, when that was all said and done um i know that we cleared 19 but i don't know how close to 20,000 we actually got so i'm hoping we got pretty pretty close on that Let's see, um, I just refinanced my house. So that was cool. The VA had new um, percentages out. So I was able to significantly lower um, my, pre well not significantly, it was a 3.25. Now I have a, it's like a point and a quarter that I was able to lower it to. So that was awesome. And um, I did take out a little bit extra to put in my savings just in case, you know, when you, you know, if I don't get a job or it takes a little bit longer, I did qualify for unemployment. That will, takes a little bit to come in as well. So I just wanted to make sure that I will be good. I don't have to pay the mortgage on August because you get to skip. So I already checked and the new place has already paid off my old loan. So I sh shouldn't have to worry about auto payment coming out now. 
So I'm gonna take that extra money and I'm going to put it towards one of my cars because that one is almost paid off. Um, so that'll be really good too. Belle is not looking forward to going back to school. We are in person school, just like it was before COVID. I'm happy she needs to be in school because even, as much as she liked being at home, it was not good as far as what, how the teachers were teaching, how she was learning, her being lazy, falling asleep, her engagement, things like that. So I am very happy that she is going back physically back to school. You know, I did talk to her though. Uh, hopefully her counselor, she originally signed up for three AP classes and I was like, why did you do that? So do you guys have AP classes, advanced placement classes? So I was like, why did you sign up for three AP classes? I'm like, you don't even do the work for the one you're in now. In fact, she didn't even take the AP exam because she knew she wasn't gonna pass it. And I told her, I've been telling her all the time, an A in a regular class is better than a C in an AP class or a D. And you didn't even take the test, so you went through all that mess for nothing. And the reason she has a damn D is because, had a D in that in the class, is because she didn't do her homework. So I told her, I'm like, I don't know what pipe dream you're on, but, you know, June, sophomore and junior year are the most important years. I'm like, you think, you know, these colleges, they're going to be looking at stuff like that. And then I told her I might be going to work back at Fresno. And, you know, we live less than a mile from the high school. But that is like, oh, my God, for her. And I'm like, Bella, seriously, you can't walk? So I'm like, I'm not going to be able to drive you. And I said, but if you had been motivated enough, you could have been almost on your way of getting your driver's license. So I don't really see, you know, why you didn't want to do that. Well, who knows what she's gonna do? Who knows? Just wanna enjoy what's little bit left of summer we have. So when do your guys' kids start school? So we start, I think our first day of school is the 11th of August. We start in August here. I know like in San Diego, they start like in July or they've already gone back. Um, it's crazy. The summer always seems to fly by so quickly. It's it's nuts. It really is. Let's see what else. Um, I'm waiting on Bryant to hang up the night garden. I finally got that back from Hobby Lobby. I did post a picture with that. Um, I have been having like some mental blocks lately. It took me a little while to figure out what I was gonna do next. And I'm not even close enough being done with this to figure out what I wanna do next. I All I do know is that I would like to rotate through companies and do at least one of all the companies that I have purchased from before I start another one. I just figured that, you know, why not? I need to start working on some of these that I have. I do have some Christmas presents I need to get done early because with luck, you know, once I start going back to work, if I go back to the hangar, I'm not gonna have as near as much time to diamond paint as I do right now. So I'm trying to get as much done as possible. Um, yeah. Let's see, my mom is going out to see Gina. So I'm glad that she finally scheduled that to get out there to see her. So, you know, my mom's getting older. She's 70, oh, let's see. I think she's gonna be 75 in October. Yeah. So I do worry about her traveling and everything. I have to, I need to talk to her too. So she is flying into Columbus 
and, and Will and Gina or one of them are going to go and pick her up. So that's good. Um, I really wish my dad said that she didn't ask for assistance though. So that's kind of like worries me a little bit. Cause I'm like, mom, like why? Like, trust me, if I could get away with it, I would ask for assistance because sometimes I don't like walking. But if you guys have ever been to the airport in Columbus, Ohio, it's not very big. I mean, it's way bigger than the, our airport here in Fresno, but it's like where where she would be getting off is not um, far from baggage claim, like where the gate is for the, the airline that she's flying on. So hopefully that will be all right and someone can help her with her suitcase and things of that nature. It's been actually really quiet here and I don't really have um, a whole lot to say. Um, I'm trying to think of some new things. Um, what would you guys like to see on the channel? Like I'm trying to switch it up. I don't want to constantly, I do like doing the unboxings. However, I do want to switch things up. I don't want you guys to get bored. Um, I do love introducing new companies though to you all. I do have some PR stuff that will be coming up, I'm just waiting for it to come in the mail. So I'm excited to share that with you. You know, I do have a paint by number to do. I don't know. I'm just excited to get this one done. I figured it was bright and cheerful and the colors were really nice and it would just be something really, really fun to do. All right, now that's done. So I can put these back in. So there's a lot of like changing of colors on this. And I think maybe it might be taking a little bit longer because I'm doing both like A, B and the regular colors for the drills, the, like the regular drills. I don't know, I don't know. There are some companies coming out with new releases. Uh, Treasure Studios Art just has some more releases. Um, Mary's Diamonds, I guess the end of the month, they're going to be having some more releases of some, I guess more budget friendly and things like that. So that'll be interesting, it's exciting to see. Let me get another color. So I'll do these little ones here. So seven, four, three. There we go. I know I have some seven, four, three in A, B as well. I need to find those. Um, I don't really have any like method for putting the A, Bs. I'm just kind of like, like using my multi-placer and whatever is still open, like right there, I'll put an AB there. Um, I'm trying to like kind of alternate them and stagger them and everything just to make it kind of, you know, it's fun. I really wish that um, Treasure Studios Art would get some more of Mystique. And I don't know if you guys have seen Mystique's work. I have done um, one or two unboxings and I can link that up in the eye as well if you've never seen any of Mystique's work, but I absolutely love it. So I'm kind of waiting on that. Um, the Olympics are getting ready to start up. So I'm really, really excited about that the olympics i love watching the gymnastics and i love obviously the swimming and i will put water polo on too i do like watching the water polo but obviously swimming is my favorite there are some young young girls that made the olympic team and actually one of the girls that made the olympic team is from the Sandpipers swim team in Nevada. And they have, this swimmer has actually competed with Bella before, not in the same race, I doubt, but um, just they were both, you know, competing at the same meet because they usually were invited to our junior Olympics. 
This year, however, there will be no out-of-state teams invited. So we will see how that goes. Um, yes, I'm excited for the Olympics. Some of Bella's friends went and watched trials. Her coach and went to go watch the Olympic trials. And it was really, really awesome. They said it was a great experience. Yeah. What do you guys like to watch on the Olympics? Let me know down in the comments below. So normally I don't bring up really controversial issues. And if you guys don't follow this, that's fine. Um, and I'm really just curious to see your guys' thoughts. Cause I have mixed emotions on this, but um, what do you guys think about the USA Olympic Committee's um, decision to not let Shikari Richardson, I think it's Richardson, compete. So they kicked, basically suspended her from the team because um, they get tested a lot for drugs and everything. And after one of her races, she popped positive. Now, I don't know if she cannot if that was from the team totally or just for that event because we all know yes as an athlete you should not be using any sort of drugs but with marijuana i don't know in my opinion it's not like a real drug i mean it's a drug but it's like natural it's like from the earth they use it for like medicinal like purposes like medical you can get like you know, a doctor's note because it has been proven to help with certain things. And, you know, I'm not trying to make excuses for her, but the fact that she was able to put aside her grieving because her birth mother, like, literally just passed away right before that um, is amazing to me. Now, should they just kick her off in depth, like, for this go-round? Or should she just not be allowed to participate in the particular event she... That particular event she had qualified for that she had popped after, you know, you know that she had popped after when they did prior to competing or whenever they tested for the results, if that's if I'm making sense. I'm on the fence. And let's, let's be... Um, kind and not nasty about this because we are all grown-ups and we should all be able to have a um adult discussion about this i mean marijuana is not a synthetic drug it's not like she's doing meth or like speed or crack it's it's weed like come on I don't know. I don't know. I just, you know, I kind of, I mean, the good thing I do am very, you know, happy though that, she, you know, when they did interview her, um, I forgot which news place interviewed her. She did take ownership. She didn't try to pass the blame. You know, she's like, I did it and I was wrong and I knew I wasn't supposed to. So that's very admirable, but admirable admirable about her to do so instead of passing you know passing the buck passing blame on everything else i mean she's amazing i don't know i don't know how i feel about that but it's the news actually has been really really nice and quiet and i've been very happy about that the biggest thing on the news lately in our country has been the weather so who the hell pissed Mother Nature off? That's what I want to know. That is the real question that we should be asking. Who pissed off Mother Nature? Now, I love the heat. I know a lot of my fellow creators and diamond paint, paint and friends in the community are not a fan of the heat. It literally destroys them. However... I am. This is 7.42. 7.42. Come on, people. I know I got a 7.43. Oh, here we go. It's right here in front of my face. Look, 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 look. I cannot function in the cold. 
Yes, I am from New York. That's cool. But I have not lived, just because I lived in New York does not mean I was out in that mess. My job in the Navy was outside. I always had to work outside. And everywhere I was stationed was cold. I don't do well in the cold. My body doesn't do well in the cold at all. At all. I don't like touching cold tools. I don't like busting my knuckles on cold metal. I just cannot deal with it. Literally, like my tour at Great Lakes when I was a drill instructor did me in because when it's a certain temperature, wind chill outside, you are the first one in and the last one's out. And you think them recruits care? Them recruits be taking their sweet ass time looking at you and I would be like any day recruit because petty officers are out here freezing to death with my snot and everything freezing to my face, catching all these little recruit germs. And ever since then, that's why when I left Great Lakes, I was like, I don't care. I want to go someplace warm, 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 warm. Well, when I got to California in January of 2007 is when there was that huge frost in the Central Valley. And a lot of the farmers, because like wicked ag up here, um, lost their citrus crops. I got here and I was like, why is there black ice? Why is it fucking cold? What the hell? Why? I did not come to California to be cold. This is straight up bullshit. What in the damn tomfoolery, what have you, is going on? I just, the cold is just disrespectful. And when you're in an open area, like a flight line, it feels even colder. Now, the issue where, where I live in the Central Valley of California is the drastic temperature drops and rises. For instance, and I don't know why people complain. People always complain and how hot it is. And I'm like, you have lived here your entire life. You know it's July in the Central Valley in California. It's going to be hot. So why the fuck are you complaining? It gets on my nerves like... Why are you complaining? If you don't like it, move. The most you're going to get out of me is, dang, it's hot. It is hot as hell. That is a statement. That is not me complaining. That's just a straight up fact. I'm saying, I'm just making a, an observation of it's hot. And that's it. Because just like this weekend, one of the parents at the swimming is like, it is so hot. And I said, yep, it is. However, it's better than being cold. Because let me tell you what. February of 2019 was insane. It was probably about 45, maybe 50 degrees. It was torrential downpour and 30 mile an hour winds. And we're, I'm sitting out here timing, you know, the grass, everything was all muddy. We had tarps down. It was a mess. My pop-up tent was leaking. So I had to go buy more tarps to put over that. I just put all that shit in a plastic bag and told Bryant to take it to his house and he could clean it because I just didn't want to deal with it. It was horrible. These poor little children out here, freezing to death. You couldn't even see them when they were swimming because from all of the steam from the pool, because yes, the pool is heated. Yes, we swim me around, but in the winter it's heated. So for instance, like, all this time, it's been like 110, 113. It's just been crazy, right? But then it goes, and there's like a 50, 40, 40 degree temperature drop. Because it'll be 113, but then it'll get down to like 70, 72. And it's actually been really nice. But then when fall rolls around, it'll be like 50 or like 40 or something in the fall in the morning and then it'll get up to like 80 so you can't it's like one of those days where it's hot and then it's cold and hot and cold or you leave your house and you're all bundled up by the end of the day like you're sweating to death because it got so hot so it's just like that well let me tell you what this the other day the power went out I still had power but Literally, my friend Bridget lives around the corner from me. She had no power. 
Well, this morning when Bryant was getting ready to leave for work, he woke me up. The power went out, I think at like 3.30 in the morning. So he let me know. And I was like, well, I'm getting up anyway. But it came back on at 8.30. And it's because the systems are being overloaded. Now, how does this make any sense, right? The governor and the electro, uh, the, elect the electrical, excuse me, company has put out a thing saying, please conserve energy to prevent power outages, prevent, you know, transformers from popping, this and that, right? You have got to be out, where the hell did I drop that? You've got to be out of your ever-loving mind if you think that I am going to turn my air conditioning off or even down or up or whatever between the hours of four and nine o'clock. You're crazy. Do you know how hot it is? No, I am not trying to sit in my house and have it be 85 degrees because let me when we got back from that swim meet in Fresno two weeks ago, I came in Father's Day weekend. So on that Sunday, after we had dinner at Brian's dad, I went, you know, we got Bella and I got our stuff and came back here. And I walked in my damn house and it was 85 degrees. And I was like, hell no, 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 no. Absolutely not. This shit is not going to happen. So I first, and my, um, where my filter is and stuff is in the hallway between my craft room and Bella's, like right near Bella's room. So I get the ladder out because it's in the ceiling. And of course I'm sweating my ass off there and I'm just like, oh my God, I'm so hot. I'm going to die. Did I have a new filter? Sure didn't. Did I already talk about this? I sound like I already talked about this. I think I did. Anyway, I don't remember. But anyway, fast forward, I went to Home Depot, got a new um, filter, turned the breaker off, and then voila, turned it back on, and it worked. And I was so thankful because I was like, there is no way in hell I'm going to be able to survive with it this hot in the house. The dogs are looking at me like, bitch, you need to do something because we are hot. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah. Let's see. Um, I've been seeing a lot of really, really good videos out there lately. Um, some really good unboxings. If you guys haven't seen Lindsay, go head over to her channel with Life with Lindsay and go check out her unboxings. She did some new from Diamond Art Club. Um, for my budget friendly friends, if you go check out Whitney Diamond Paints, she just did some unboxings from Cool Hall that were really nice. And of course, Christopher. And he just did a couple. He just today actually posted a video with some special drill projects that are very, very interesting. Um, Lori from One Fun Diamond Painter, you go head over there. She has a little footage from the retreat. I really wanted to go, but when I was going to see Gina and then Bella had stuff to do, it was just like, oh, and then of course, you know, got laid off. It probably wasn't like the best thing. Well, I wouldn't have known then because reservations had to be in, but I did know I was going to see Gina and I did know that we had some big swim meet stuff. Um, coming up so yeah um some great great stuff um mindy put up a video of like a sneak like she, she got to the retreat before everybody else so she took us on a little tour of the um house or the place that they rented so i thought that was really cool as well um i'm hoping one time I think it would be so cool, like, since even though all of us are so spread out, um, if we had them, like, in the different parts of the country, like, an east, midwest, southern part of the country, like, Texas area, and then west coast, but I swear, Bev over, Bev 
over at Bev B Diamond Paints. Let me tell you what, she must have been either Professor X and me, or we are sharing the same thoughts or what have you, because when I first, first started diamond painting, like right when the pandemic happened, it was probably like April of last year. Um, I had made a post just like on a Facebook group a while ago about how fun it would be if there was a diamond painting convention, kind of like a tattoo convention. I don't know if you guys have ever been to a tattoo convention, but but Bev had the same idea I did and she kind of put it out there in her one of her um, whipping chats of how fun would it be if there was like Diamond Art Club or some of the other big vendors got together and co-sponsored it, but it would be set up like, you know, just like a tattoo convention, but it would be all diamond painting and craft related and accessories and things like that. And, you know, the big companies, you know, that we all love could come out there. Maybe some new people could come out with their, um, some new companies that just started. And we could go like purchase from them or maybe pre-order or what have you. It will be so much fun. So Bev hit the money, you know, hit it on, hit the nose, or however you say that, of how much fun that would be. And, you know, Diamond Art Club, you know, you guys would be able to do it. You know, they are, I'm pretty sure they're, yeah, their headquarters is in Beverly Hills. So like, who doesn't want to come to LA? I mean, that's like three hours for me. I would be there in a hot second. So it would be so much fun. Like, I just hope that one day that, you know, I can meet some of my fellow Diamond Pain friends. It would be so much fun. Now, I do plan on going to see Gina again and my grandkids again, same time next year. But I'm hoping to be out there a little bit longer and I already did let Gina know that next time I come out that, you know, I'm going to spend a week with her, but I am going to take a couple days and Ohio is not that big of a state. And I know that I got some friends up in there. I know Lindsay is not that far from Ohio. She's in Pennsylvania, but Suzette and Lori and June, they are all in Ohio and it would be so much fun to get to finally meet them. Even though I feel like I've known everyone for so long, like it would be fun to actually meet. I don't know, that's just me. That's why I was kind of like, I was really happy to see the footage from the retreat. I'm not, I, I would be lying if I said I didn't have a little bit of FOMO, cause I did, but that's cool. I'm happy, I'm just happy it was able to happen. I'm just glad that things are, at least where I live, are starting to basically be back to normal. Um, now, I need you guys to do something for me and it doesn't require very much effort. I really, 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 really want to go to San Diego at like in December. And every December, except for once, because Bella only had one time cut for this meet, but we go to Chula Vista and go to the swim meet and it's called the Winter Age Group Championship. And it is like so much fun. I love, love, love this meet and I really wanna go. And I'm hoping that it will happen this year um, because obviously last year it didn't happen because of COVID. So yeah. So I want you guys to please, if you could send good, like good feel, good feels and good vibes from now all the way until like the middle of the fall because I'll know by then because that would be super, super awesome. And then if any of my California friends are around, if you guys want to come say hi because I'm not going to have any time to really go do anything because we'll be forever at that pool. But it'd be so awesome to get to meet up with some of you guys too. But other than that, things are really nice and quiet and chill, and I'm thankful for that. But I've been talking for about an hour, and I kind of feel like I've just been talking about nothing. So thank you for hanging out with me while I worked on Shine On. I don't know. I'm, it looks really amazing right here in the uh, 
in the camera. So I hope you guys think it looks good. I don't feel like I got very much accomplished, um, but it's still really pretty. All right, you guys, I'm gonna let you go. I hope to see you soon. I'll talk to you soon. Stay cool, stay safe, and be kind. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.